Hi everyone, it's Ali and welcome back to another Heffy Doodle YouTube channel video. And today I'm going to focus on a couple of te techniques. One is really soft blending on backgrounds and the other is how to get a clean look with white embossing on black card. Now I'm going to use two sets today, the Yappy Happy Mail and the Everyday Sentiments Duos. And I'm also going to use a little doghouse from a My Favourite Things a set as well which I'll list in the description box below. Just starting with a base card and I'm going to ink directly onto the base card. Now to get some really soft, a uh, really soft look with my um, Distress ink, I've discovered that if you give it a really good layer with white pigment ink to begin with, it really helps to move the Distress ink around whether it's um, just normal Distress inks or Distress oxides. So this is my handy tip and it really does help and you can actually go over your distress oxide with another layer of white pigment ink as well when you've finished. So I'm going to show you this with peacock feathers so I've just got the normal distress ink here and I'm also going to use some heavy memento uh, memo sorry tape dispenser or some tape just sticking it together because I want to make a mask out of an oval so that I can mask off a sort of oval in the center of the card and now I'm going to use my Peacock Feathers Distress Ink. I've just got a little bit of scrap paper there to tap off any build up of um, ink so it's not too dark. And then I'm just going to layer that over my layer of white pigment ink. And you can see it's moving around a lot easier and it doesn't have those streaks in it that you can get um, when going directly onto your paper. And now I'm going to go over it again with some white pigment ink yet again. And you can actually wipe off your sponge in between this if you don't want to transfer ink back onto your ink pad. But I didn't actually get too much transfer happening there. And so I've just put a layer of that white pigment ink over the top of the Distress Ink to bring the colour down a little. And I just decided that I wanted the pick up for this colour to come further out to the edge so I'm just going to go over it a little bit more with the peacock feathers sponge just with the ink that's left on the pad and then a little bit more around the edges as well and I did have to re-ink up a little bit there just to get a bit more ink on the sponge and again you can go over it with your pigment ink again if you wanted to lighten the colour down or take the colour down. Now I'm just splashing it with the tube out of my water sprayer just to get a few water droplets and to remove a little bit of that distress ink and using a paper towel just to take that off as well. And now I'm going to remove that mask and then you're just left with a nice mask white oval on the background to place all the pieces onto. Now I'm going to stamp out my images in a Copic Friendly ink and I usually just go really lightly with my first stamping and I find that helps not move the paper around as well and then just go in again with the second stamping and you get a nice crisp, crisp image this way if you're using a Misty. Now I'm going to quickly colour in my images and I'm just going to skip through this a little bit just because of time I don't have it, uh, the length of the video to show you all of the colouring but I'm now starting to go in with quite a dark colour go over that with an and close shade and then going in with quite a light shade to get a bit more of a difference in my colouring when I'm using my Copics um, and then I go back in with the darker one and just go over those darker areas a little bit and then again with the lightest colour and this is giving me a really nice effect at the moment I'm enjoying colouring this way and I did the same with the little dogs as well and I used my um, warm greys and I just coloured in that little bone in a nice green colour just to match the background peacock feathers colour that I had chosen so it's got of like a blue blue green there and I just cut those out um, using the dyes if I had them or fussy cut if I didn't and then I'm just going to tuck that little dog into the house so he's peeking out. Sometimes I just go around the edge of my images with a C3 or C1 just to take the white, the bright white edge away um, and then I'm just working out where my images are going to go on the card. And I'm going to grab one of the sentiments for the Happy New Home sentiment from the Everyday duos and then I've just stamped it in white 
Versamark ink and a white embossed. Sometimes with your white embossing you'll get little flecks of embossing that flick off when you're drying it and you can see there I've got a couple of flecks there. Now you can scratch these off with your scalpel if you want to but I've found that just going over them and dotting them with a Copic multi-liner just to make them sort of disappear into that black background is really effective and it just tidies up all of your embossing and make, makes it look a whole lot neater. You just have to make sure that you make sure that the multi-liner is dry before you wipe over the top of it or anything like that. So that's fixed it up quite well and then I've just trimmed that down and again going to adhere those onto the front of the card. Now I did stamp three little hearts there but the stamping wasn't that fabulous so I decided that I would punch out some hearts in a matching colour and stick them over the top because I wasn't, yeah it wasn't that clean a stamping so I've just adhere those over the top of those hearts and no one would know. <laughs> So that is the card. I've trimmed off the sentiments down the side and I hope that's given you some hints to use to get that really nice soft background look with your ink blending and just remember to sort of wipe off your sponge in between so you don't transfer white pink and ink to your colour or vice versa. So thanks for joining us. Here's some other um, Heffy Doodle YouTube videos that you might enjoy watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again next time.